Hi guys, we're the Wolfmans and we are building our second dream home right across the street from our first custom home build. We are officially in the sexier part of the build, which is the finishes stage. And previously we've completed our flooring installation with tile and hardwood throughout, the trim installation with baseboards, window and door casing, and some beautiful accent paneled walls. We also completed the installation of our custom designed contemporary white kitchen with contrasting black pops, bold slabs for our countertops and backsplash, and beautiful brass details. Previously, we walked you through how we selected and paired the right paint colors and wallpaper for different spaces in our home, and today we take you upstairs to our master bedroom where we create a stunning feature wall and complete our master bathroom. Last we left it, we completed the tile installation for our bathroom floor and shower walls, as well as the vanity installation for our large 13-foot custom vanity that we framed with a tower on each side. We are now putting the final touches in our bathroom, so let's take you there. Okay, so originally when we were talking about doing uh, this design for the mirror, we're going to basically be doing tile boxes and inserting the mirror uh, within it. So originally what we were thinking was to do 8 inches thick, 8 inches, 8 inches, 8 inches. Of tile. Of tile. In between the mirrors. Obviously top and bottom and then the mirror centered, um, you know, within it. Now, the problem with that is, if we do 8 inches here and 8 inches here, the mirror will not be centered properly on this cabinet. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you understand, right? Because the eight inches will eat up eight full inches here, but on this side, it'll only eat up four and four. Because eight inches is kind of split between the two. Exactly. So okay. that won't look right. Okay. So what I was thinking to maybe do is go four inches here, mm -hmm. eight inches, eight inches, four inches. And then instead of putting four sconces, we just put two, one here and and one here. Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna have more than enough light in here. Like there's a pot light already over each mirror at section. Oh wait, is the pot light gonna be centered around each the mirror? The pot light is centered. Because the pot light is dead centered in the space. So this, of course it will be centered. Okay. That was the problem. It wouldn't have been centered if we went eight inches here. I see. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get our um, our architect to, to draft it on a 3D model tonight uh, so we can take a proper look at it. But I think the mirrors will look really nice kind of within the border of the tile. Okay, and here we are in the master bathroom. So we've got our countertops installed here as well. I think it turned out really, really great. So we've got a four inch sort of uh, I don't know how you call it, I guess a waterfall kind of front, four inches here. And then it drops down to two inches over here at the makeup station for Anna. So she's more comfortable when she's sitting. And then we got uh, matching on the other side. So really happy with the turnout, just really clean and beautiful. Um, and then we're gonna do a nice tile detail uh, back here uh, to frame the mirror. So really excited about how it's gonna turn out. Okay, just here with my builder, Michael. Michael and I just installed this shower bench. Uh, we just gotta do one more bead of caulking to, to fully seal it in, but Fabricator brought it. We're installing it this morning and it looks awesome. <laughs> Super pumped about it. So this is sort of scaring the shit out of me a little bit. <laughs> guys have to bring the bathtub upstairs. The bathtub weighs, I don't know, a few hundred pounds. So we need a few guys to be moving it. Uh, they're just coordinating it right now. I feel terrible, but uh, boy, is, I don't even know if I can keep watching this. Okay, I gotta turn it off. We have some progress with our plumbing fixture installation in our master shower. So we installed the main fixture here. It's a Rubinet. It's chrome and it has some really nice matte black finishes with a rain head. And then... 
We also got the mirrors installed for our um, vanity. And then the freestanding tub with the tub filler. Uh, it's a matching Rubin A with the shower faucet. Also with the beautiful uh, kind of matte black finishes. And then the toilet and a separate little area. And it's all coming together. Looks amazing. Now we just need to figure out which color to stain these, um, this vanity. Okay, so it only took us about 25 tries, but we finally figured out the color for the master bathroom, uh, for the master bathroom vanity. So it's just being painted uh, right now. So I'm just gonna flip this around and, and give you guys a peek. So we really wanted to go with something that played off the grays in the floor. So this is what we landed on. We think it's, it's dark enough to be dramatic, but it's not too dark that it doesn't flow nicely with the stone and it just really fits beautifully. We're, we couldn't be happier with it. So they're just about to start the second coat now and we are all good. Happy face. So after we saw how beautifully some of our other feature walls turned out, we were inspired to create an accent wall in our bedroom as well. But we didn't want to replicate what we've already done in our living and dining room or in our staircase wall. So we were really deliberating what we want to do for our bedroom. We have a long 19 foot back wall, which will be the backdrop of our bed. And we like the direction of using trim molding to create large scale square panels across the entire back wall. But to achieve a more decorative design, we decided on installing them about an inch off the wall and also floating them within a frame that will also protrude off the wall to create some depth and dimension. It was really important for us to have an elegant and timeless feature wall, but with a contemporary take that complements the rest of the style in our home. Okay, so Anna and I just spent a little bit of time taping up uh, our walls. We're trying to finalize our design. Um, we're going to be doing a, a bit of a unique design. We're going to be floating some of our MDF panels that we're putting on the wall. We're just trying to finalize the spacing. Uh, we're over here. The spacing between boxes is four inches. And over here, the spacing between boxes is five inches. So we're just taking a look here to, to figure out. I think we made a decision, but you'll have to follow along to find out. All right, guys. So we are in the master bedroom here. Sorry if it's a little echoey. Um, but so, so the panel work is, is mainly finished, but we couldn't fully finish it uh, because the painters wouldn't have properly been able to paint this had we fully finished the trim. So let me just show you really quickly what it's going to look like. Uh, as you can see, we have 10 uh, sort of boxes on the wall here, and these here are the panels. So they're going to go up like this, which should really give it the effect that it's floating. So between here and here, there's a couple inches, but there's a really big space between that and the wall. So ultimately, it's gonna look like each panel is floating, which, which I think is gonna give it a really cool look. So um, the other three walls in the room, uh, we, we think we know what we wanna do for the color, but we wanted this wall here to be uh, sort of a feature wall. Uh, so these are the two colors right here that we're deciding between. Um, this one is called Ebony Slate, and it's a, it's a bit of a darker color, but it's got a lot of undertones of purple. Now, I don't think it's, it's, it's not going to read purple on the wall, but it just has that sort of undertone of purple, and, and the carpet that we chose is, is like a silvery carpet, but also has similar undertones of purple. And as well, the lighter colors of the wall is sort of a really, really soft gray, but also little bits of undertones of purple. So we kind of just wanted to pick a color that could, you know, I guess, I guess pick up on that. This one here is also a beautiful color. This one is called Old Navy. Um, but again, it's just, it's just a little bit, a little bit more navy undertones than purple undertones. So we're, we're kind of just trying to decide which color makes the most sense. We don't want this one to, to overpower the rest of the room, but we also don't want this one to have um, no continuity with the rest of the room either. So these were the sort of the two colors we're deciding between. Uh, wish us luck. Okay, guys, so remember how we told you we had to sort of spray 
uh, I guess the kind of square boxes first uh, before we can put the panels on. So we have those sprayed. We now have all the panels sprayed. Uh, so this is coming together. I think once they go on and they'll have that kind of floating look, I, I think it's gonna look really, really amazing. We're so excited. Okay, we don't have light here yet and it's a gloomy day, so it looks a little bit dark, but this is our feature wall that we've uh, really deliberated over in terms of what kind of design we wanna make and what kind of paint color. We ended up going with this uh, gray, uh, paint color that has a little bit of like a mauvey sort of purpley undertone because we have a little bit of um, purple in our carpet and we sort of matched it with a bit of a light purple and gray on the other walls to just give it like a really warm feeling and I think it turned out great. They're still doing a few touch-ups but it looks really really nice. Oops. Looks really really nice along the whole wall sort of see the color a little bit better here from this angle in the natural light looks amazing so we're gonna have our bed our king bed kind of right in between where you see the two little green uh paint that's gonna be the light fixtures sorry the light switches rather uh for convenience on either side of the bed so the bed's gonna go kind of right in between and then you can see the other colors like a very light gray with a bit of a purple undertone just making it really soft and calming and beautiful so it looks really really great thanks for watching guys we hope you enjoyed the video as we shared our process of completing our master bathroom and adding a beautiful accent wall to our master bedroom please leave us a comment or a like to let us know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe to follow along our home building journey in the next episodes we continue with the final touches of our home finishes like our wine cellar and glass installation as we start nearing the completion of our custom home build so make sure to join us next time